the Fab Four, of course, the Beatles and Day Tripper. Yep, hope you enjoyed it. Right, this is, I reckon we might, uh, we might have a difficult one today, but we're trying our best to see if people can suggest songs that uh, have a, or they, it reminds them of Christmas, but isn't a Christmas song. Rob's come up with one now, Rob uh, being the music aficionado that he is. Is that the right word? Aficionado, I think he said it. He said, what about Freiheit? I said, who? He said, Freiheit. And I've never heard of him. I presume they might be German. But anyway, we've got it on our system. And this is a, it's not a Christmas single. But it's, he said it reminds him of Christmas. It sounds more such like a Christmas song. It's called Keeping the dream alive have you got anything that reminds you of christmas but it wasn't actually a christmas song let's go let's find out shall we anyway here's fry height There's Fry High. Yeah, I can see exactly why you think it's a Christmas song. It's just got that Christmassy sound, although it wasn't a Christmas song. Hmm, nice one. Keeping the dream alive. Thank you, Rob, for that one. Right then, let's get on with this uh, name, Rob's Tune. Because uh, we're still trying to find out. Two notes now, and uh, we've got... One person who got it on one, that was Ben. Well done, Ben. You really did get it. And, uh, you know, congratulations to you, Ben. Now, uh, <laughs> right, Andy Madison, you're on the right track. But the song that you uh, you've selected... How can I say this? Well, it's the same same scenario as Big Al. You've got the song almost, but different artist. So, uh, and it's a different title under this other artist. Because the one that you mentioned, and I'm not saying what it is, Andy, it's got a mixture of two songs in it. Whereas the original version is just the one song. God. It's getting difficult, this is. Who'd think that for a simple competition, eh? Have another listen, anyway. You might just get it straight away now. No, two. Name Rob's Tune, with Dennis K. Any ideas? Get in touch. Email, phone, or text. That's all you've got to do, and see if you can get onto our clever list. That's the, uh, that's the only way to do it. Have a go, and see... If you can get there, I hope so. You've gone for both options. Well, one of them's right, Andy. But I'm not telling you which one. <laughs> oh, I must. I am mean, aren't I? <sighs> yeah, but uh, we'll reveal all soon, don't worry. I've just realised I've been talking away without my microphone up. Nobody knows what I've been saying. Oh, what a silly sausage. Right, I'll put playing some applause for Ben, because he got it in one. And my apologies for uh, for the gap there. I didn't realise that uh, <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd done that. Anyway, Ben got it in one. Big Al, we can't r let you have that because you went for Kid Rock all summer long. When in fact it was Warren Zavon and Wheels of London. Well done to uh, uh, Vic. She got it right. And I think if I remember right, uh, Debbie got it right earlier on. Uh, that's as far as I know. Let's have a listen to the song now, shall we? Why not indeed? And there we go. That, of course, Warren Zevon. Or Zevon, or however you want to say it. Werewolves of London. That was the one that Rob suggested for Name That Tune. 